Ahead of Brexit, the UK's export credit agency, UK Export Finance, has opened an office in Dubai. What does this mean for the region and for UK businesses? You're watching Inside AB, I'm Jeremy Lawrence and I'm joined here in the studio by Bern de Boosman. Okay, Burns, how significant is this move for the UK and for the UAE for businesses? Well, I think one fact that's quite telling is that for UKEF, UK Export Finance, this is only the fourth market internationally to get its own permanent office in the region uh, after Brazil, Indonesia and uh, Turkey. So I think that's kind of a sign of how much importance UKEF is placing in the GCC. Um, now, already they've without the office already operating, they've financed quite a bit of projects in the UAE. Between April 2016 and 2017, they financed two billion pounds worth of GCC projects, which is the most they financed in any one particular region. And now with this office open, they've said they're gonna make five billion pounds of capacity available to sponsor projects in the UAE with a separate four billion pounds in Dubai alone. And that doesn't include uh, the amount that they're willing to to risk uh, through financing projects in Saudi Arabia, for example, in Kuwait and Bahrain, Oman. Um, they all have a, a figure set for them, which is on their website. Okay, massive numbers. This one's one of them, the projects, yeah? This is Dubai Arena and it's been, uh, f uh, one of the partners on the project is a British firm called Kier, um, so that and UKEF has also provided them financing already. Okay, now of course, this is all about Brexit, which is coming up. The UK needs some wins abroad. So tell us more about that. It is, well, I, I, I think that's something that pro-Brexit people in the UK said would happen, that this would open up the possibility to open new international markets to, to UK companies uh, that wouldn't have necessarily been possible as part of the European Union. And when you look at it in that context, I think the UAE makes sense. There's already really strong economic ties. Mm. So this is certainly a priority market now that the UK is looking to kind of expand globally. Mm. Low hanging fruit, you'd imagine, given the longstanding relations between the two countries. Of course, and, and like I said, I mean, this is a region that there's already quite a bit of business going back and forth. Yeah, okay. Um, so we've talked about construction. Is that all UKEF's interested in? Not necessarily. They, I mean, being the GCC, of course, they've said that they'd focus a lot on energy projects, but they left it very open. They said they said education projects, infrastructure projects, uh, kind of science infrastructure projects as well, research facilities. Uh, so they they essentially said that there's really no area in which they don't think they can help. Mm -hmm. So they'll be looking at all sorts of things, and if the projects qualify for UCAP's financing, they'll they'll be willing to look at it. Okay, okay. So UKEF's moved here. There's many, many British businesses here already. Are we going to see more setting up shop? I think so. For example, the Dubai Multi Commodities Center, which is already home to well over 1,300 British firms, they did a, a poll and found that two thirds of British firms are already looking at Dubai, just Dubai alone, not necessarily even the greater UAE. Two thirds? Or two thirds wow. of British firms are looking to set up shop in Dubai. I mean, they, from their perspective, they see a government that's very pro-business mm. the, and Dubai is in a geographic location that opens up all sorts of possibilities. For example, if you want to do business in South Asia or elsewhere in the Middle East or in Africa even, Dubai is kind of the place to be. So I think in the near and long-term future, we'll see a lot more British companies calling Dubai home. Wow, great. Okay, so that's the news that UKEF is setting up shop in Dubai. We're going to see lots more activity from them and we'll be here to cover it. You've been watching Inside AB. We are live at 10 a.m. every weekday. Please do join us, comment, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. But for now, we'll see you next time. Bye.